Hi guys, and welcome to the video. Um, I'm gonna share some stuff with you, um, basically. Uh, I made the mistake the other day of um, asking Andrea if she had any stock that was kind of Christmas oriented because I'm running out of stuff. Well, I've got plenty of stuff left, to be perfectly honest. I've still got all that sports gear and stuff like that, but I was running out of stuff that was kind of Christmas related. So I made the mistake of saying, have you got some stuff in your office? Do you want to offload it on me and I'll get it all listed? And I basically ended up with a couple of crates full of stuff. And a lot of it is plush that has been just gathering dust in Andrea's office. And some, I found a crate of it in my office as well. So today I have been researching and drafting uh, and cleaning a load of plush. Now most of this isn't amazing stuff. Some of it's okay. Most of it's just stuff we picked up in bundles or, you know, at jumble sales, cheap. So it just needs to be got rid of. And while I've got it all out and I've kind of got in my head what it's worth, I thought I'd share it with you. So that's the plan. I'm going to show you a load of cuddly toys. <laughs> so yeah, first off, there's a few of these Garfields. Now, I remember these so well from the 80s. Garfield was huge in the 80s and you, these plushes were everywhere. Um, there really isn't a lot of value in them. Sorry, I've got something. got my lunch stuck in my teeth. Mm. Um, <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah, so there's not a lot of value in them. I think if you can get some of the really bigger ones, they seem to be going better. But I've got, it's quite a chunky one, this one. But even him, it seems really common, in lovely condition, but just no value. A little one here. Even the other characters I thought might be perhaps rarer or, or worth more. This is Odie, the dog, no value. A little one, a little Garfield on a sledge, no real value. So I'm bundling the lot together. Um, I've already done the draft. I think I'm going for like £15 for the lot. So, yeah. I don't know where we got these. I'd like say probably, oops, probably a jumble sale or something in there, or, or a boot sale in there. It's like 50p or less each, but not great. This guy has got something in his hair. <coughs> oh, so much dust in here. Yeah, this is a Chewbacca. He seems okay. He's tagged, uh, as you can see. Um, I think I'm gonna go for about a tenner on him. There's plenty. <coughs> <It's, it's... coughs> dust is getting down my throat. Oh, it's making my eyes water. Yeah, uh, there's plenty all over eBay, but I'm gonna shoot for about a tenner on him. This one I was quite surprised at. He's quite good. Well, not really. I mean, there's, there's much better plush than, than what I'm gonna show you today to find, you know, in the past I've shared things like the Flat Eric, um, Crash Bandicoot plush I had a while back that was really nice. Um, yeah, and there are better Disney plush than this. This is uh, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. It's quite a large one, he's, he's beanie, so he's got beans in his bum. And yeah, he's worth about 13 plus shipping, that's what I think I'm gonna go for. Quite a nice one. The tag is really worn, you can't even read it, so that's not going to help its value. But there you go, one of them. Uh, Nintendo ones don't hold a lot of value really. This one's not too bad, I'm going to go for a tenner on him. Um, like I said, I did do the drafts, I think I had a tenner including shipping, so 6 99 and 2 99 or £10 and free, whatever. Yeah, he's Diddy Kong, got a little Nintendo hat on. These are okay if you get a bunch of them, you can bundle them up and do a little, you know, Nintendo bundle. Um, Simply Poo, uh, actually classic Poo. I don't know if you can see that. Poo Bear, he's okay. I can't remember again, I think about a tenner I'm gonna shoot for, but there was loads on eBay. There was a few little keywords that, that should help this. Um, I've already done my research and I've set up the the draft so that's all ready to go I've just finished doing photos of all of these which is why I've got them down here uh, by my desk ready to go but yeah he's okay I had a little Eeyore as well um, up here there's a few rejects this Eeyore I could have bundled it with it but I don't know it just seemed to confuse the issue um, this one even with its tag just had no value there was plenty all over eBay so that I'm going to either donate or yeah, I'll probably just donate it. 
Uh, and then Care Bears. Now Care Bears, you would imagine the vintage ones would be quite valuable. On the whole, they're not. Um, this one, I'm, I'm just gonna donate or, or take to a car boot sale. It's not in the best of condition. It's lost some of the sort of embroidery on here. It's got, it's a little bit grubby. Some marks that I couldn't get off. And it's Love A Lot Bear, quite a common one. It is vintage. The, the tag is actually really faded. You can't read anything on there. Um, it's just not worth bothering with. So yeah, he's gonna, we're just gonna donate him or whatever. A couple of other ones that are modern. This one is a modern one with a, a little talking box in, but no matter what I've tried with that, cannot make it work. It's not worth messing around with. And another modern one there. The hair is completely in a mess. I'm just, uh, yeah, and there's hardly any value in it. I mean, I could bundle these up, but we've decided we're just gonna donate those or whatever. But this is quite nice. I had no idea. This is a glow in the dark one. It's quite a modern thing. I think it's like 2003 or four, something like that. It's not actually dated on the tag and the tag's been cut, which is annoying. But he has, all of this bit here is glow in the dark kind of very textured and all around here glows in the dark as well I think like I say I have done the draft I think glow a lot bear or something like that um, and he has a name as well try your hardest bear something like that oh, I'm gonna forget let me see if I can get the template up actually give you some real information um, oh hang on that's loading up so yeah he's quite good I only found one completed of this bear but it was new in the box and that went for 50. I couldn't find any other of these glow in the dark bears. Let's see if I can find now what he's actually called. Um, oh, why does nothing work when you want it drafts? Here we go. Um, glow a lot care bear, do your best bear. Yeah, so that's his name, do your best bear. Um, yeah, I don't know where, I didn't really know where to go on the draft. I've put twenty four ninety nine. Give it a go. May not happen, but couldn't find any others. And this seems like a, a sort of spin-off version of the Care Bears that perhaps didn't last very long. Perhaps there weren't many made. So he's quite cool. Um, vintage ones again. This is Bedtime Bear. I had to clean him up. He had gunge on him. Now, a technique that I was using, I mean, I use um, baby wipes to, to clean off little patches of dirt or whatever. If there's ingrained stuff, the technique that I've been using on these, and it worked, seemed to work really well, a tiny dab of washing up liquid, and then, you know, work it in with your finger until it's lifted all the dirt. And then I was using kitchen roll to sponge that off, to soak it out, and then a hairdryer to, 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 yeah, I was hair drying Care Bear's bums today. Um, a hair dryer and then just sort of brush it off and it comes up really nice. There were some horrible stains on here and on this Care Bear cousin that I'll get to in a minute, on the back of his leg, you would never know, oops, but here there was a great, I don't know what had been spilt on it, but it was filthy. It had like, it looked like some sticky drink had been spilt on it and it just attracted the dirt and it was filth. So yeah, dab of washing up liquid and then scrub it in with your finger, let it do its work and then sponge it out with a kitchen roll. And then I blow dried it. <laughs> and that has come up that you'd never tell. So yeah, really pleased with that. Anyway, going back to bedtime bear, not a lot of value, really quite common. One in excellent condition had gone for about 20. Um, he's not great. He's had a lot of wear, a little bit misshapen. There's a little bit of grubby marks that I can't quite get off. I do have the six inch small version of him as well. I'm gonna pair those up and go for about 15 in that condition. Should be achievable. Um, but yeah, this guy is nice. With Care Bears, they, they had a kind of spin off, which was the Care Bear Cousins. Uh, this is, now what's his name? Braveheart Lion. I've got it on the screen there. Yeah, again, he's not in the best of condition. It looks like his hair may have been cut here. I think his mane's meant to be 
much longer on the top. And you know what kids are like? I think someone may have cut his hair. So anyway, and he, he's, he's had a lot of love in. So he's not in amazing condition. I'm gonna go for 15 with shipping on top on him. The cousins are good. I think there's like an elephant and other animals and they tend to have more value. Even the little heart says Care Bear Cousins. I don't know if that's going to show. It's a little bit worn anyway. That's a good way of knowing if you don't know what a Care Bear particularly looks like. They should all have these hearts on their bums. The regular ones just say Care Bears. So yeah, so those are okay. Um, a few more, a couple more anyway of these. These are 2002 ones. I've just paired those up and I'm going to go for, I think it was like 12 or 15 pound for the pair. Lovely condition, but they're, they're not vintage and they're fairly common. So not a lot of value in them, but they should go. And again, the modern ones have the same little heart button on their bum. Um, a couple of these tweenies. Now I talked about these like two or three years ago and values seem to have nosedived a bit recently. They're still worth doing if you can get the set. There's four of these characters. These are the girls. So you've got um, Bella and Fizz. There's two others, Jake and Milo. And there's two dogs you can get as well. If you get the full set, set you can still ask, you know, about 20 plus. I can't be bothered to wait and, and collect the lot. So I'm going to try and shift these two. Uh, I can't remember what I'm going to go for, like seven pounds or something like that. Um, they just need to go. Um, I had more stuff, where was it? Now basically what I've got left in here are Teletubbies and I'm still not sure what to do with these. Again I mentioned these going back a few years and prices seem to have tanked a bit on these. Um, so I don't know, I don't have any of the green ones. I've got one, two, three, four, five, I've got six yellow ones which I think is Lala. I've got three of these Pose. Two different, these are all the sleepy eye ones, let me open and close. Uh, I've got one, two, three, three Tinky Winkies, and no, what's the other one? Dipsy, the green one. So I can't make up a full set. Um, I haven't really looked into these yet, it's the last thing I was gonna do. Uh, they all need, uh, he's got, I don't know if it's gonna show in this light, but he's, he's, he's mucky. This one's got a talking box as well, I haven't tested that. But yeah, I think, oh, I don't know. Give them a clean up and see if they're worth doing on their own or make up incomplete sets out of them. So yeah, that's what I've been doing today. Um, there's other stuff that Andrea has uh, given me to sort out. There's crockery, I've got a load of Hornsey ware in here which I need to sort uh, some little Hornsey uh, what's the pattern? Tapestry. Jugs, got three jugs. Don't think there's a lot of value. I think I'm gonna bundle them together. Uh, so yeah, there's two like cream jugs and what looks more to me like a gravy boat style jug. It has a saucer with it as well. But yeah, I think people had achieved like a, a fiver per jug plus shipping, it just seems a bit of a fiddle. So I'm gonna do the three for 10 or 12 pound, I think. So there's that. Uh, there's also a juicer. Just loads of gear. I haven't been through all of it. So yeah, that's the plan. So I've done the photos, apart from those Teletubbies that I haven't actually really decided what the plan is. The rest is drafted, just done the photos. So I'm gonna go in now, add all the photos finish off the descriptions and get all of those live today is the plan. It's Tuesday and we do have the tat chat um, in about an hour's time or an hour and a half from now. We haven't actually planned what we're doing and it's the hundredth show. I, I was trying to call Zahir here earlier but oh he's just messaged me back. Oh he's just got in. Okay well I'll message Zahir here in a minute. Hopefully we'll get some plan together for what we're going to do for the hundredth tat chat. Um, yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you while I've got all these plush out. I do quite enjoy listing um, plush. I find it, 
I don't know, maybe it's the, the inner child. Um, and I love the fact that when you ship it out, you know, it's easy to package, nothing can get broken. And yeah, I just find them easy to deal with and list. The only time consuming bit is, is the bit I did earlier, which was the cleaning. Quite often plush will need cleaning. But there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'll see you soon. Take care and thanks for watching.